Syndracosa is my finisher. Stay away. You cannot have her. thinking a lot about it I'm going to play with most likely no more than three spells in my deck and I really want to have two win conditions and that is the reason why I added in uh, Dead Man's Hand for the fatigue game as a side win condition and then later on you will see me add an interesting card. Um, first of all, the reason why I say that is because I'm adding all the Katoon cards. And I know that I've played Katoon Warrior and I can outlast somebody pretty easily. As long as I draw the cards that buff Katoon. Or, so to speak, tempo out with the right Captain cards. And there's the Shield Maidens. And last but not least, Iron Juggernaut. Uh, I remember when GVG first came out on the second day, I queued into. I used to play casual a lot to test decks, and I queued into this guy who made. A juggernaut deck, an iron juggernaut deck, and he actually planted four mines into my deck, and three of them popped on me, so that's 30 damage. Uh, I was down to one health, and in fact, my deck list, my own warrior deck list, did not play any armor smiths. I actually played a quote unquote hand warrior, meaning that. It plays Molten Giants instead of Armorsmith. And the reason behind that is because most of the time, unless you are playing the old school Armorsmith with Cruel Taskmaster, your Armorsmith will only trade for two armor. Against aggressive decks, you are not going to gain more than two armor. Unless you buy, quote unquote, buy enough time against aggressive decks. Whereas Molten Giants, like handlock version of a warrior, of a control warrior, your 8 damage and 8 health of a Molten Giant can at least make 2 trades. Because if it's an aggressive deck, they most likely will not have more than one seven soul or that they do not have black knight so as long as you can taunt up one or even have one molten giant out you have a higher chance of taking out what is necessary such as a doom guard which is seven health or even at least one flame imp or one of the Argus creatures. I am not saying that Molten Giant in Warrior is good, but back then Armor Smith hardly gained me hardly gained me more than two armor against aggressive decks. So let's see how this deck goes after talking a lot about it. Now, I know that I shouldn't have spells in my deck list, and I have two. So let's just check out 
if I keep this dead man's hand in my hand right now, what would happen? Now that's not a good draw. I, I'm, I'm hoping to draw into my two to four cost cards. And if I don't, I am going to lose. Okay. I have a bad feeling that I'm going to lose, but I'm just going to play this out and see this fight. Because this is my actual first attempt. Uh, earlier, I spent some time thinking about what I was going to do. Okay, so th that's what happens when you have spells in your hand. You take 3 damage per card. Per, per spell. So this hand is with these draws. I'm not gonna win, but I'm just gonna play it out to see what creatures he plays. He plays just like that one fight. What, what was that? What was that fight called? <sighs> the one where you get colored cards. Oh man. I forgot the name. I, I just I drew a blank there all of a sudden. Um anyway, anyway. My hand is terrible. I should have mulligan better, but I just wanted to see if I can stall it out without hard mulliganing and also I wanted to for people who skip the deck making will see that I teched in Iron Dragonaut as a fatigue win condition and hopefully that will quote unquote inspire some people if they did not think of that. So the draws were just bad and I am definitely gonna restart this. There's no way. So I guess I won't get a first try win here. I guess it's time to restart. I don't actually like having armor smith to be honest, even though it does gain me armor. And of course, I understand that I chose to have two spells in my deck, but it's meant for the purpose of fatigue as a side win condition, uh, as well as just being able to draw my weapons when I need it. So, I mean, see, like, the earlier game, that starting hand really sucks. But it was, again, trying to test out whether two spells will hurt me, and it does. So hopefully I don't draw my two spells too soon. But this looks like a really good start, and I hope to win with this opening. This way. Shelter, my 
Take my shield! Shelter us! Do you hear its call? Listen closely! Shield! My shield! I can take the hit. Secret agent coming through! Soon is my Secret agent coming through!
I gotta trade that. None what? Oh, Black Knight, whatever. So I just lost some armor again. Alright, here's my second cutscene's chosen. I'll play it. I need I need stuff on the board. And I think I'm gonna take out the Black Knight since uh, the other one's already hurt. Hungry Dragon. In the light's name. Huh. That actually gave me a good trade against the 5-1. Alright, so here's the thing. I want to make room. Now, this looks really awkward, but I'm going to make this trade and hit it. Yeah, hit it. Now this looks like a, a a mistake for trading off the the divine shield, but the reason behind it is that I also want to protect my shield maiden. All right, I just drew my iron juggernaut. I don't think I want to play it. Uh, I can see that his uh, deck is thinning out though, so I think I'm gonna just hold back and save until he has low like no cards at all the greatest is or more to say when he's actually down in fatigue so that's good that I actually got more weapons from my dead man's hand from earlier even though I shouldn't be playing any spells in in my deck but I think at the cost of 6 damage, maybe 9 damage, I can take that risk. You don't have to. You don't have to take that risk. Uh, but I just wanted to see if I can copy maybe 2 Iron Juggernauts, depending on how my hand goes. But obviously I played... That man's hand before I drew my iron juggernaut. So now that I know that I have my Cthulhu buffed enough, I can sacrifice one Doom Caller uh, to maintain board control because I am out of weapons. I think. And and of course, after using all my weapons, I draw the, the legendary. The mini, the mini legendary guard that buffs all my weapons. That's just really handy. Oh, that's an interesting effect. Alright, I think I got this game though. He's running out of cards, yeah. Uh, does he have any more dragons? That's kind of scary. Not that it matters, I mean... I really, I was really hoping to keep my Doom Caller, make to make more trades. Oh, no more dragons. Ran out of dragons. Used them all, huh? Oh, 
I am going to make that trade, I believe. Because it's not like I can start hitting Cindy goes it down now. I should just wait. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I could have, I could have hit Cinder Goza now down to 20 instead of waiting for this fatigue, this second fatigue turn. But I wanted the fatigue turn so that in case she plays creatures, that I still have an extra trade. So now I just wait for fatigue or because I played that man's hand, my Cthulhu is probably de super delayed. Yep. After all the weapons I've played, I finally drew that Forge of Souls. Really? Alright. There's my Cthulhu. Now it's a 28-28 and I know that it's good to play Cthulhu here. But, I'm going to play Iron Juggernaut instead. Alright. I think I got this now. Minus 10. And the next fatigue. Thank you for watching. And this is how you can have two win conditions and not just one. the concede button. 